so a plane was downed on Wednesday uh, in a flight that was flying from uh, Tehran to Kiev. It's a passenger 737 uh, that crashed very shortly after takeoff from Iran. The United States has blamed Iran, uh, and there have been a couple of stories. So the United States has said, well, we, you know, they saw two missile blips on a radar, and then one showing that it exploded. Uh, so they're saying that it was Iran's um, air defense system that targeted it. And so some reports I've heard are saying that they believe that uh, because Iran has uh, air missile defense, that it could have been like a bug or a mistake uh, that this defense system triggered and shot down this commercial airliner. Uh, some sources in the United States seem to imply that it was an intentional uh, shooting down of this plane as if there was some kind of asset associated with it. Um, but the fact that it deals with the Ukraine uh, and Iran and the fact that it happened mere hours after the uh, assault on the Baghdad, uh, uh, the, the airstrip, it wasn't in Baghdad, but it was in Iraq, the Al-Assad airstrip, airbase. Uh, the fact that Iran is saying, we don't know how this plane went down. Uh, and uh, I, I saw a report that said that uh, on Iranian television, they aired footage of the plane, uh, sort of uh, the... Uh, the turbine. That one of the turbines caught fire and the plane falling apart uh, shortly after takeoff. I mean, it was minutes after takeoff. Uh, and so I haven't been able to track down that footage, but that would be really interesting to say, hey, okay, we have this footage of this plane breaking apart and crashing, and that's horrible, uh, but is there any evidence that there's a missile strike anywhere here? Because the very strong allegation coming from America is it was a missile strike from, you know, surface-to-air missile, whether intentional or not, that's an allegation that the, the only thing we have to go on is the, uh, the military is saying we saw blips on our radar. Oh, oh well, So that's, that's all we've case. got. And it's like, okay, well, I cannot in good conscience separate that from the fact that this it would, is highly politicized and certainly the United States has a lot to gain from vilifying Iran in the, in the world's eye. Right? How dare they kill all these civilians? And it seems extremely out of character. Sort of like the argument we make about, well, why is it that you're saying that al-Assad, you know, sarin gassed his own people or chlorine gassed his own people right after giving up his chemical weapons and inviting weapons inspectors in? Why would he do the thing that would invite America to come back in and fight? This seems very much like that. Like, Iran literally that day informed America that it was going to conduct military uh, strikes against uh, its air base in Iraq and allowed the United States to evacuate so that there would be no casualties. But then they also decided, you know what, we're also going to bomb an unrelated plane that's going to the Ukraine. Right. Why? So that's the only thing that would make the, um, it may have been an error because of their air defense, but the time difference between that also doesn't make sense, and that seems more like a tactic to smear uh, Iran and say, look, they're so reckless their equipment can't even differentiate between civilian and military targets. But that's targets. specific because Ru uh, because they have Russian uh, air defenses that they use air missiles. And here's my thing: like, I'm, someone can correct me on this. It's just, just my intuition. Um, I'm not a guy who actually is. You know, I'm, I'm not like oh, I know a lot about missile defenses. I know you know I know that they exist. Um, but if again, let's go to that hypothetical footage that you haven't been able to find yet, because I've right. heard that too, and I've heard that talk, and so I'm basing it off that footage existing. So if it doesn't, then I'm wrong. But if you could find it, please yeah, put it please in the comments. Yeah, please send it to us. Send it to us in uh, either here or in Discord. But my point is that I would expect a missile that's meant to take out. So I know that these are generally heat-seeking missiles, and I could be completely wrong even on that front. But I'm, but that's what I'm assuming. That's usually what they use. To, let's call them homing. Let's call them homing missiles. So they're going to go after the thing that's the uh, hottest, which way would make sense. It would be a jet turbine. Now, my thing is that these missiles are, are probably designed to get fighter pilots then you know, deal with a, a, a chafe being thrown out and things that are moving very quickly. So these are probably pretty accurate. and They're Russian, so they're tracking well. If the uh, footage has, like, just one turbine burning and nothing else, I would expect a missile like that to blow off a wing off a plane because that's kind of what they're designed to do. And I don't expect it to be like, well, the missile couldn't. It was the plane, the jet plane that was going at low altitude was moving too quickly. Right. It, 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 goes, it just goes to that point of, like, that you were bringing up that 
this doesn't make a lot of sense for Iran to do this, and just based on this hearsay, because we don't have much to go on. Uh, a single turbine of a plane, maybe it's – but I don't know. I don't – like, I think that's the ultimate thing that we really have no idea, but it does seem weird to think that Iran would let Iraq know this is happening, let America know this is happening, and then launch an airstrike, and then also blow up a commercial plane. So from a rational perspective, I want to point this out because this is something that the United States government does repeatedly, uh, and it's really nefarious, and it is a logical fallacy, and that is what's called uh, an argument from authority. So they are saying, we have the evidence, we can't show you because super top secret, you know, uh, means or whatever, the reasons, reasons we can't show you the evidence, but trust us, we have the evidence. So there's an accusation, and the, the argument is, we have the authority, so you have to take our word for it. And it's like, no, when a claim is made that uh, requires adequate evidence to corroborate, right, the default position should be skepticism in the absence of evidence, right? You don't just get to be like, oh, well, they've, they've been making these claims and they never produced any evidence, but boy, they, they wouldn't be making these claims if they didn't have the, like, no, 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 that's, a, that's not fair rationalization, right? This is simply argument from authority. I'm in a position of authority. I have the ability to know. I'm telling you that I do, but I won't tell you how. When they tell you how, then you get to believe. When they show the evidence, you get to believe. Yeah. But before then, mm -mm. I would want to read a, a, a super chat. Thank you from Pleb, getting a little more insight onto this. Uh, Russian automated uh, surface-to-air defense system. Iran has that. Okay, so that's uh, that's, what we were, that's good that we we're saying. Probably a mistake to either have it active or a mistake not to notify the airport. Sad though. Yeah, I mean, for all we know, it could just be that they were like, okay, America might respond right away to these. Uh, missile attacks that we're doing, let's turn on the air defenses on. Oh, we probably should let the airports know that right now, if they have a plane that goes in the air, we should probably let them know not to do that. That could, I mean, that could literally be it just as well. Like, we don't so know. Th th uh, hang on. That gets into the sort of the same thing I'm talking about. Yeah. That's not an impossible scenario. Mm -hmm. But reasonably speaking, we are aware that countries have air defense systems. We are also aware that countries have airports that may be in range of said air defense systems. People are not stupid, people are aware of this. Tehran, the people in Tehran know that planes, commercial planes, yeah. right, take off and land from that airport. And if they know, the government also knows that their air defense system is in range of that airport, mm -hmm. right? They would make accommodations for being aware of the flight schedules at That's the airport. That's they would true. not flip on their air defenses and be like, anything that flies is getting shot out of the sky. That's not a thing that would happen from any rational actor of a sovereign country. Sorry, just, I don't buy it. No, okay, fair, no, fair, but it's, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, just, I'll just add uh, this as well, that, yeah, I would like to hear more information about this, but I think the overall point that we want you to leave with is, we don't know. No one knows right now. Anyone who's saying they have any idea, like, we're just like, hey, this could be it, this could be it. Anyone who's saying explicitly, here's what's happened, here's how it happened, and has no evidence, don't believe. Now, so right now that person is the United States government, yeah. by the way. And so I also want to remind everyone that in past incidents, you know, we've shot down Iranian passenger jets before as America mm -hmm. in these kind of situations. So it could literally turn out that the U.S., might have thought that this was a fighter for a bomber from Iran itself, and they shot it down. I mean, like, we have no idea. Again, we're just spitballing a bunch of po probabilities, possibilities. Uh, we're going to figure out sooner or later. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe not. Who knows? Uh, I do want to call out another super chat. Thank you, DCK Punk, for the $2. Uh, protests happening right now in Chicago. Also, very important, uh, there are a lot of places where you can look up and find out where active protests are going on with regard to uh, peace with Iran. Uh, find out what's going on in your city, and let's get out in the street and let the government know that we do not want to go to war again. Well, continue going. Continue to, to be at war. Adding uh, additional enemies to additional our list. Additional theaters of yeah. the war.